everyone and welcome back to Chef with Jess. Today we're going to be making some fancy deviled eggs. I figured it was perfect for Easter coming up. Even though we're all stuck at home, we can definitely make some delicious goodies for ourselves. First things first is hard boiling the eggs. We're going to put the eggs in a pot of water with a little splash of vinegar, a little drizzle of salt, and we're going to bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we are going to turn off the heat and let it sit, let them sit for 12 minutes. water. I'm going to strain them. We're going to deshell them, cut them in half and take out their egg yolks and put their yolks in a separate bowl so we can make that mixture, um, that delicious deviled egg mixture. But in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'm going to be cooking my bacon crumble that I'm going to put on top. This is half the fancy part of my fancy deviled eggs. So I'm going to make mine in the microwave so I can cook my bacon while I am deshelling these eggs. I, leave, I put it in the microwave for five minutes and it makes it perfectly crispy. You can make it in the microwave, you can make it on the, on the stove top. Either way, just make sure they're nice and crispy. Let's go. are peeled and yoked and cut in half and our bacon is actually done so let's grab that okay let's let's check it out look perfectly crispy okay this is the crispiness we want so I'm actually going to crumble this bacon because we're going to sprinkle it on top um, we're going to make the yolk mixture we're going to put two and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a couple dashes of salt, and a couple dashes of black pepper. And mix it all up. Okay, let's go. I just want to interrupt the mixing a little bit just to say that I'm going to add some more mayonnaise and some more mustard just to make this a little more gooey. Um, it's not mixing as nice as I would like it to. I definitely want it to be a little um, more runny, but not runny. Definitely don't make it runny, but just a little more like liquidy, a little more movement. Um, I'll let you know what the updated amounts are in the um, ingredients below. But as of right now, I'm just going to add more mayonnaise and more mustard, like two to one ratio, until I like the consistency, okay? to add one extra tablespoon of mustard and two tablespoons of mayonnaise to get that nice consistency that you want for the inside of your deviled eggs. Next, I'm going to start making 
the other half of our fancy deviled eggs. I'm gonna be making Parmesan crisps to go on top of the deviled eggs. They are so good and they're very easy to make. What you want to do is shred some Parmesan cheese, put the pan on medium low heat, sprinkle it in. You're going to clean up the sides with your spatula so it's not all like frayed around the edges and it's a lot easier just to manage and crisp, I guess. Um, then you're going to let it bubble, melt, bubble until the entire crisp turns about two shades darker, as you can see here. Then you're going to turn off the heat completely and let it sit and cool for about two minutes. This is what's going to make it crisp up. If you take it off the pan right away, it's just going to be gooey and it's not going to crisp at all. So this is actually my first crisp. It is very crispy. And my second one. So this is what we're going to use for our crisps on top of our deviled eggs. But our last one is cooling, so we'll let that cool. As you saw, I had to dab off the crisp, they do create a grease, so you definitely want to make sure you um, you soak up that grease, otherwise it'll be a little gross. So I have my three crisps here. I'm going to break them up into little like shards because I'm going to stick them in, like kind of like this. And we're gonna stick them in the deviled eggs. But first we have to build our deviled eggs. So let's do that. some paprika and then we are all set. trapped at home and look how good they look oh my gosh let's test one out oh my gosh that crisp on top just like adds a next layer next level of flavor to it wow i cannot wait for you guys to make these so you can try them Please let me know how they turn out. I would love to see, I'd love to hear. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.